This is the first video and what will probably be several videos about my journey with Arduino and DCC+. This has three parts. Okay, Model Railroad fans, this is, uh, video is going to be about the Arduino and how I'm using that with JMRI on my uh, layout. I'll have other videos on this. Um, my purpose in using the Arduino is to connect some optical sensors to my track so I can stop my trains exactly on a spot within the JMRI scripts that I've uh, previously posted. So this is the Arduino itself. It's maybe about four inches long. This is what he looks like. This is your USB plug that goes into the computer. This is a power plug for a 12 volt um, power. This is pretty much the same as the UNO, except it has additional um, slots for sensors. And I thought I would have several sensors on my layout. So I got the, got the Mega instead of the UNO. I want to give a shout out to Tom's train, Trains and Things. He's done a lot of helpful videos on Arduino. I've been watching those. I don't yet understand how to connect the sensors, but uh, I'll figure that out and show you that in the future videos. Okay, it takes more than just the Arduino to run uh, DCC++. You have to have this motor shield. And uh, I got both of these directly from Arduino. You can buy them a lot cheaper, but I just wanted to have the uh, original and maybe give them some money for their development efforts. And so this is the motor shield. I've already put on my wires to go to the track here. This is for the main track, and these two here are for the program track, if you want to do that, because you use JMRI to, to operate the through the Arduino. This is a jumper. You have to put these this jumper between 5 and 13 to actually create a DCC signal. There's uh, several videos on the uh, YouTube describing in more detail the electronics of this. I'm, uh, all this electronic circuitry is a mystery to me and I just want to know how to use it, not how it actually works. So this motor shield fits right on top, right on top of the uh, Arduino Mega. So you just slide it into the the pins into their receptors there. I'm not going to do this on the video. I don't want to mess it up. So that's how you put those two together and. Uh, now I'll go ahead and uh, hook it up to my track and uh, show you how it uh, connects with JMRI. Okay, this is uh, part two of my uh, video. Here's the Arduino with the motor shield installed on top. So you have my uh, yellow and red wires going over to my test track. I have it on the main track. And uh, there's that little jumper jumper cable that actually has to be in place to create the DCC signal. So let's start up uh, JMRI. Okay, you see the Arduino Arduino uh, configuration option. I created that using the new button, but let's just go ahead and open that up. Okay, now we have uh, Panel Pro open, and you can tell 
right with this menu option it's uh, got the DCC plus options so some things you can do with that you can watch the traffic going back and forth uh, send a command look at your track current configure the base station so uh, the only thing I've played with is watching the track current so that's how that works let's go over here and look at the preference setup okay this is the way you set it up you select the DCC plus option serial port I'm connected to my COM4 and uh, it's connected at uh, 15,000 bits per second so that's this the options you select there for your uh, connection and after that it runs uh, pretty much the same as uh, any other function on uh, JMRI I've yet to figure out how to connect the uh, optical sensors I bought I got uh, several of these little optical sensors already with their uh, resistors and stuff it's going to be a little tricky actually placing those on the layout given the depth of my foam and plywood so that's uh, that's going to be a trick but those are the sensors I'm going to try to use so okay so we'll just run the train a little bit here's my GP15 on my test track and uh, we're gonna just do a few things with that so let's open up the roster and this roster is unique to the Arduino configuration so I'll select my loco and then I'll hit throttle and I'll have to turn on the track power so let's hit the bell make sure he's running oh yeah yeah and so we'll give him a little forward power here there he goes I have noticed that it runs slower than um, when I have my Sprog connected and uh, I'm not sure exactly why that is. I'm using a, a 2 amp 12 volt power supply and uh, I'm going to get a 5 amp power supply and see if that makes any difference. I suspect that it's just the way the Arduino is processing the code to send to the locomotive that makes it run a little slower all the functions seem to work fine but uh, and I can uh, turn my uh, smale switch here on my test uh, test track just fine it seems like it runs a little slower too but uh, it does work in the future I'm gonna take this Arduino out to the garage maybe early one morning when it's only in the low 80s in the garage and put multiple trains on it and see how it uh, performs that's just a little uh, demo of JMRI running on my uh, test track to get the to get the software go to github and then type in that uh, DCC++ EX installer you have to page down to get to the appropriate link. Then it'll open the DCCEX website. Kind of page down and click on the automated installer. Then you pick whatever version you want. I'm using Windows, so I picked Windows. I want to save the file in a zip. And then 
documents, uh, saved it, and I opened it up. And uh, I just sorted it to see the EXE. And then it's going to un unzip it. And you want to tell it where to go. This is the default, but I moved it over to uh, a new folder. So here's uh, where it's going to install it for me. You could put it anywhere, I guess. And it, uh, you know, you have to tell it to continue, and and you get the little um, meter that tells you how it's going. It's almost complete here. So it's got it extracted, and then double click the exe. You get this Windows protection screen. You hit more information. And then you'll get the where you can click run anyway. And then I get the another little warning about this thing's gonna work on my hard drive. And then you get this screen, you have to pick the kind of board, the motor shield, the COM port, and then you click the compile and upload. And it runs through a whole bunch of upload uh, messages and eventually it finishes and you're ready to go. Okay, this was a, kind of a brief overview of Arduino and uh, DCC++. In the future, I'll do more. One thing about uh, the Arduino is it's pretty cheap. I mean, I've spent less than $100. JMRI is free. DCC is free. So if you're looking for a, a separate uh, control system, this is a pretty cheap option. So thanks for watching.